Money for College cooking show. I'm Michelle. <laughs> Today we are. Wait! Please subscribe. Please yeah, subscribe. Please. Tell please, your friends. Please, please. Jazz really wants to go to college desperately, but it's so expensive. <laughs> so help us get there. Subscribe. Please. Tell your friends and tell them to subscribe. Yes. And tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their friends to subscribe. Yeah. Cool. What are we doing today? So, as Danton, <laughs> this has popped up on probably everyone's Instagram feed. Probably not just mine. It's trending right now. These big old fluffy pancakes. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that it started out in Japan. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna try. We do they have a name? Do they have like are they called something? Japanese fluffy pancakes. I don't know. They probably do have a real name. I can only find them labeled Japanese fluffy pancakes. I don't know. <laughs> cool. Either way, they look absolutely delicious. The one thing that we don't have is they're usually made with like a circular thing. Cylinder? No. It is, it's like it's one like of those things that like you put in the pan and you crack an egg into and then you can get like a heart shaped egg. Oh. I don't remember what they're Cylinder. Called. No. It's almost like a, a pancake mold. Or like a cookie cutter type thing. Cylinder. I don't know what it's called. Either way, we're not using it. We're right. just gonna attempt it without. Ha, ha, that's probably what makes them grow, though. No, that's okay. what keeps them in a circle. Okay. Cool. I, you don't I ne necessarily need it. It's just something that Americans do. Okay. Every cool. video I've seen of it doesn't use them. Anyways. So we don't need it. No, we don't. We're awesome. <laughs> Today we're make, we're not making them gluten free because I've never made these before, and I am unsure if they will rise and stay fluffy if we use gluten free flour. So, yeah, let's get started. Let's get started. Um, in our first. largest bowl, we're gonna mix one and a half cups of flour, three tablespoons powdered sugar, two teaspoons baking powder and half a teaspoon salt. So I'm starting to do the flour. It's not sifted flour though. No, we don't need it sifted. How many are? One, and that was sort of one. That and was a little less than one. But I'll do a little more than a half. Compensated. Yeah, that's about. I need a tablespoon. Tablespoon! A tablespoon and a teaspoon. Teaspoon! That's a teaspoon. That's about a teaspoon, I think. I need two teaspoons baking powder. I'm just going for the sugar. <laughs> <laughs> two teaspoons leveled. That's what that little thing does, by the way. We get yeah, it's super useful. useful. Not that we level or measure uh, anything else. No. <laughs> but our baking powder is leveled and measured for sure. Here. Half a teaspoon of salt. Trust me with the salt? Three. Half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon. Gosh, ha okay. Guess it doesn't really matter if it's not an exact teaspoon. Well, okay. we never the recipe before. So now we gotta mix the dry ingredients. Do you want to whisk? Yeah, that would be nice. So if you want to make your flour and you don't have a whisk, you can just use your regular fork. Fork. Fork? Fork. <laughs> fork. <laughs> a fork. Uh, yeah, just make whisk, 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 mix, whisk, mix. Apparently, we can't speak well today. today. Is not a day of speaking. And Apparently. now, you can set it aside. Now we mix our liquid ingredients. What kind of bowl do you want? This one or that one? Or this one? No, we're saving this one for the egg whites. Ooh, egg, egg whites. And we will use a hand mixer for that. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sad. Um, one and a quarter cups of milk. One and a quarter cups of milk. Yes. So I'm using my one and two a quarter cup. cup measure. Four tablespoons of unsalted butter, melted and then cool. So I already melted it. Um, and yeah. Put that in. Ready? Yeah. Nice. Um, half a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm using your bourbon favorite bourbon vanilla. vanilla. It is my favorite. I like pure vanilla extract. You haven't used it in a long time, by the I way. I used it in my midnight snacks. I wonder what all that food was in the kitchen. <laughs> I was like, wait, why is there yummy snacks here? It's a little bit more than a 
half a teaspoon, but it's okay. It's bourbon vanilla, it's all good. It's okay, sure. We need one egg yolk. Oh, okay, so I love doing separating the eggs. Yeah, I love separating eggs. It's one of my <laughs> favorite things to do. In the so, entire thing, you're gonna need one egg yolk and three egg whites. So but the egg whites it. we're doing separately. But I'm gonna put the egg white in here. So this is my fun. I'm gonna that was it our up. cat. Um, so I separate it in the shell. I don't know if you've ever done this before, but this is how, how I do would you it? separate it. I don't know how other people separate it. This is how I in your hand. My this dad just said in your hand. This is really how I like to do it. That's how I like to do it. Well, that's taught, taught you. <laughs> Apparently, Jason does it. In I mean, I know people use the trick where yes. you, yeah, put it in. Monk. Where you put the, you crack the egg and then you use like an empty bottle and you squeeze it and then you suck the egg yolk out. I don't know. I, that seems like more trouble. Anyways, me. so I'm going to compare the other two egg whites. That's the butter. It has butter in it. So he's that. Do you need the yolks? No. So I'm gonna use the yolks for put the yolks. Okay, in. but you put the whites in. There. I knew that was Then you're just gonna mix that up too, and then also set aside. I actually yeah. find it really rewarding to do this. It feels like really relaxing. Like maybe I should make more meringue or something. And just, you hate making meringue. I hate making meringue, but this part I really feel like it's very relaxing. It's like zen. Getting the egg. She hates making meringue. I'm very impatient. When I, I make, make waffles, I make I start making meringue because that's what gets it very nice and fluffy. Um, and it, she's so impatient. <laughs> I like things fast. It takes a while. It takes. I a like while. good that's food why. fast. Yeah, I notice. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to, you can save your egg yolks and make hollandaise sauce. You need more than that though. So if you really small holiday <laughs> sauce, if you use only that. We're using a hand mixer just because it Boo. I don't think that's faster to make rain. But it takes Boo. a while. It's not faster. Boo! No, it's fine. Poof! I got them. I had to wash them. <laughs> I had to wash them. They were dirty. We went poof. <laughs> you went poof. I didn't go poof. Oh, no, I that's true. I just said poof. Because it was like Phew. Okay, so now we're gonna pour our egg whites into this bowl. Egg whites Yay. into the bowl. And then we are going to need a quarter of a teaspoon. Cream of tartar. Cream of tartar. What is cream of tartar? Uh, should we ask Google? We should ask Google. Hey Google. I need half of a quarter of a teaspoon. What is cream of tartar? According to Wikipedia, potassium bitartrate, also known as potassium hydrogen tartrate, with formula KC hydrogen oxide, is a byproduct of winemaking. That was clear as mud. <laughs> okay, now you know what cream of tartar is. Or oh, well, yeah. explain it to me. <laughs> yeah, explain it simply in the comments. In the comments. So now we're gonna speed this up because uh, it takes a while. And yeah, you're just gonna want to whisk it forever. Forever. Into it four peaks. I just speed dance. I'm gonna just speed dancing so we'll do this faster. It'll be funny. I should stop talking though. It's gonna be like. You have your mixer on full power. That's the word I was looking for. 
Um, this is actually the best lovely one. piece. Well, here's a fun little tip that I learned from cooking videos that I've watched. You know your meringue's good if you can hold the bowl upside down and nothing falls out. Wouldn't it be terrible if it all just fell out? <laughs> yeah. If you see it like shifting, uh, like I can pull the bowl sideways and it doesn't move, then and it's kind of moving but not really, it's, you know it's good. It's dangerous. We can be like, Wow. Okay. okay. Next. So now that we do now. That. We get back our dry ingredients that we made before. We pour our wet ingredients, our milk thing that we made, and we pour that in to our dry. The milk thing was the the milk vanilla mixture. Mixture. Mix that up with the one egg. Yolk. With the one egg yolk. This is very good though. It's you don't want to like because you don't, don't want to mix it too much. Yeah, because that's just a general cooking thing. But you want to make sure that it doesn't have lumps. Lumpy pancakes. Not so nice. Although the rest, this recipe that I'm looking at, which I think is from Food Network, um, I think I don't actually remember. <laughs> um, it said little lumps are okay. So now that we have that, I'm gonna get a spatula. La spatch. La spatch. And you're going to want to mix a third of your meringue mixture, because that's what it is, at a time. Put that in. And then you, you fold, fold it. it. That's so that you don't get the wonderful meringue. Mm -hmm. You keep the meringue. Firm. The firmness. Don't be like me and be like, plop. Blah, 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 blah. No. That Folding works. it allows... Um, the poofiness to remain. Poofiness. The poofiness. It seems very watery, but well. But it, it's supposed to be a pancake, so yeah. But their batter is super thick. We. I don't know third. how it will get thicker because it's the there's a lot of air. So like the thing that makes meringue or the. I, white stand up is that you're aerating it, you're putting a lot of air mm. in there. I don't know how you would get a thick um, batter though. I don't know flour. how you would get batter. Flour. Are you going to put flour in there? Mm. No, that's what I mean. I don't know how you get this one thicker than it is. I think part of the 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 rise that we're going to get of the pancake. It doesn't rise. You pop it down. It's fluffy. Last third of our meringue. You don't have to measure exactly. It's just, it just is. <laughs> this is. Just eyeball it. Looks really lovely. Read the recipe. I don't Read know. the recipe. Okay. Where are we at? So it's whisk together the flour. We did that. Whisk together the milk, vanilla egg yolk. Beat the egg whites. <coughs> Stir milk mixture into flour. We did that. One third beaten egg whites into the flour. Gently fold. To just combined. Till just combined. Do just not overmix. Lightly spray the inside of a three inch by four by two and a half inch ring molds. Oh, that's what it's called, a ring mold. Ring We're not doing that. Molds. We're not doing that. Then you just um, cook it. Non-stick skillet. He says, color the skillet with the lid and cut until the batter rises yeah. to the top of the ring mold. <laughs> I wonder okay, so I wonder if we do it. This is rising. I guess we could do it with, um, I have a, a, not a ring mold, I have a cookie mold. Do you want to try it with a cookie mold? Sure, why not? So here we are. Um, I have sprayed the cookie mold in our pan with, with canola oil spray. And I'm going to just scoop some of the batter into it, I guess. And the fire is on already. Yeah, I already put the batter, the fire, I <laughs> put the batter on already. No, put the fire. Can I do a little more? Do you think that's good? Uh, let's do that. A little bit okay, more. Okay, a little bit a little more. more. Sure. We're eyeballing this. We don't know. That seems good. That seems too much. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> and the fire on medium heat. Next thing I need is a lid. So I guess it has to cook. You have to cover it. We so do it, have to cover it. It bakes like a cake, I imagine. It's a large it lid. Hang on, I have to put it on top of it. Now we wait. How long do we wait? I didn't read the recipe. <laughs> I'll read it. It says half 
half a cup of batter for the ring. I did a half a cup because this is a little quarter. For the cup. ring, though. Oh, never mind. And then um, cover with the skillet lid and cook until the batter rises to the top of the ring molds and is golden on the bottom for about five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Then it says, release the bottom of the pancake with a spatula, grasp the sides of the ring mold with tongs, stabilize them, then carefully flip. So you have to flip it. We can't do that with that mold because no. it's plastic on the other yeah. side. But maybe we can pop it out and, and then, flip it. Yeah. What are you looking in there for? Tongs! Tongs! Tongs. Tongs. Now they're mine. I don't know where they came from. I think the camping set. Yeah. No. Well, we don't go camping, so. No. I hate camping. Yep. Okay. So we're going to take them. Um, I'll hold your pan lid. Careful, it's hot. Ow. <laughs> okay, I don't know how we're going to do this. Lift it up. Yeah, lift up the mole. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yes. It worked. Now flip it. should have done that sooner. Uh, it's very, don't it's squish fluffy. it, don't squish it. <laughs> it is fluffy. We burned it. I knew we should have done that sooner. All right, we'll do it again, we'll do it again. We'll do it again with um, different mold. Different mold. It's good. Yay, it's pretty. Okay, do one without anything and see what happens. See how fluffy it would get. Hmm. But this time, let's check it in like <laughs> like three minutes. Three minutes or less. Ooh, I think it's good to flip right now. Flip it. Wow, that's hot. Don't burn yourself on it. It's very hot. Flip it. Yeah, not as fluffy. It's not as fluffy, and it and and cooks just fast, fast like a real pancake. I think it eat, like we were even waiting too long. Yeah. No, my heat's on medium. <sighs> I so. feel like the heat is not a problem. I feel like it just cooks really fast. Wow. Interesting. Interesting that the smoke is coming. This is weird. Yeah, I think it's like cooked. I feel like it's cooked. Oh no. It's I do like a, a little butterfly though. Okay, we're done spraying. Everything is well sprayed. Turn your flame back on or no? Yeah, I should. We're gonna put the dough in first. The batter. batter. And now I think we cook it. Ooh. We're gonna <laughs> cook it for less time now. And turning it on medium heat. I don't even know if we need that lid. I don't, I don't know. Anything. I don't, I don't know. think it's doing anything. I want to taste it though. Okay. We'll eat while we, we are. We just eat while we're doing it. See what it tastes like. It's a pancake. You like pancake? You mean it's fluffy? That one's fluffy. Something's happening in this. Something's happening. a minute though. It's been like two minutes actually. Well, does it look like we can, can flip it? No. So then we can't. This is a dilemma. This is why. This one we can use the tongs for definitely. This is why I always say like having the right tools are essential Working. for your kitchen cooking. Because some of these recipes are not dependent on the recipe. They were dependent on the things that you have <laughs> to make them with. So, I mean, we're trying to improvise, which I think is pretty cool. And certainly it's not bad. I still think this recipe tasty. doesn't match what it's trying to replicate. Huh. Um, it's, yeah. Because the original video, all the videos that I've actually seen of it, um, they don't need a mold. The batter is just that thick. 
make a bunch of them at once. You're just like, plop, plop, plop. And that's like a big pile of dough. And that's like this thick. Wow. Yeah. And they don't need a mold. So I don't know. I think this is a replica. And that's trying to imitate it. And that's why you need the mold. Because this batter is like... Super thin. It's just hanging. And as it gets it's warmer in our kitchen, batter. you can this see is, that this is good. Oh, yeah, it's totally good. Be careful, it's hot. Um, I think as our kitchen gets hotter, too, the the egg whites are starting. Oh, it's going to fall out. Oh, no. It's going to fall out. It's going to fall. Oh, no. Oh. Now, what are you going to do? Flip it. One, two, three. Uncovered. Let's try it that way. See what happens. <coughs> what do we got to lose? Nothing. Nothing at all. Yeah. Flip it. Do it. Flip it. Yeah. Again. Yep. It's ready to go. I'll put it like this. And then I'll put. Yeah. So then do the it flat that way. Sides. Yep. That's the way to do it. Oh yeah. More or less. <laughs> <laughs> we, we continually overcook it, but if we put these in the oven, spray some muffin tins and put them in the oven, that's going to work. You want to do that? I do want to try it. Okay. Let's do it. So, I got muffin tins. These are my BA muffin tins. Alright. And, um, yes, I said BA. Yes, I'm sure you can figure out what that is. <laughs> so, and Jazz sprayed them. I think this is going to work out amazing, and it's going to look more like the pancakes that they're supposed to look like. So we, the I oven's preheated. We've gone past trying to replicate those, but this, I think this is going to do it. Um, the oven is preheated 350. This is going to be awesome. I think we cook them for 10 minutes. Put them in the oven. Then. Put them in the oven. Check them in 12 minutes, or 10, or 5. We'll keep an eye on them. <laughs> so these are the ones that came out um, of the oven. Of the oven. They were in there for like ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes ish. Um, I'm just trying to try to take them out <laughs> in one piece. Oh my goodness! They're stuck to the side. So we just um, did a non-stick. Oh, that's better than you hold it on. <laughs> Here we go. Ta da! So it's now interesting. It's, pancake. it's interesting. So this could be a hack. Um, we just looked up the name. They're called souffle. Souffle pancakes. Japanese souffle pancakes. Why is this not mm. They smell really good. They smell. They delicious. do smell delicious. But they didn't rise any more than the one we put in the oven. I mean the stove. They didn't rise anymore. And the one that I bit. Yeah. So. Well, um, yeah. Let's taste them. That's why I had a knife. Mm -hmm. We're going to taste them now. See what you think. I already tasted this one because I bit into it. <laughs> Our hands. My hands. Like this. Alright, so that's what they look like. Got a little maple syrup. I'm gonna forego the sugar and just pop it in my mouth. Put a little sugar on the side. It's a dense pancake. It's very dense. This is the oven baked one that I'm gonna try. Mm. Oh, that got more fluffier like a cake. Yeah. Very airy. So that's interesting. The one that we baked on the um, on the stove here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat, eat this one. The Just ones in the oven are a little bit more airier. Mm -hmm. 
This is the syrup funny. You can't taste <laughs> <laughs> Here. So you can see the thickness of the ones that we baked on the stove, mm -hmm. and that's the one in the top. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is hot. I'm going to taste this as a comparison, but this mm -hmm. this is more like um, a cake. Yeah, you can see them like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. good though. Yeah, they're both good. I mean, they're pancakes. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've eaten a bad pancake. <laughs> Well, thank you for watching yeah. us try this recipe. Maybe we'll do a redo. If there... you have a better recipe, send it to us. We'll redo it. Mm -hmm. See if we can get it to work. Yeah. Just the way it is on the web. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for watching. Yeah. And thank subscribe. So Please subscribe. subscribe. Tell your friends. Goodbye. I really want to go to college, but it's, it's super really expensive. expensive. Um, thank you for watching. Yeah. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Now you can see all the